All right, YouTube. We've realigned our tie rods and made them parallel to help with our bump steer. Go ahead, Matt. Let's see what we look like now. Hardly if any deflection at all now. And he's bottomed out on the shock. Right there. Perfect, Matt. And that's all we got for now. Checking in. Dropping wrenches. Peace. Matt's just getting into a little wire management. Now that we've got it all worked out, um, all sensor, motor wires, all connected. And these are all the additional reverse, on off, voltage, three speed. And then these are all the additional wires we don't need, like cruise control, brake display, all that stuff. Who needs that? All right, YouTube, here's a quick breakdown. We now have the hall sensors aligned and properly plugged. Yellow to yellow, green to green, blue to blue. There was two wires right here in the bundle that you plugged together, which was uh, self-learning, and that allowed it to fix the out of phase and allow our motor to run forward with still having the reverse option of 50%, I believe it is, power of forward. And so now all that is working properly. Here we have a generic uh, 3000 watt up to 96 volt uh, controller. And we have a 3000 watt uh, rated to 72 volt motor. So plenty of extra controller. This controller actually has longer, uh, thicker uh, battery leads and heavier gauge motor wire. We put a anti-spark, um, I believe these are rated to um, 60 amp plug, which will help save your tips from corrosion every time you connect your batteries. And that's the update we have. Matt, you have anything for an update? No, just figuring all this wire out, get it strapped down good. Strap her down. Strap her down. Lock it in. And our fine tie rod correction angling, just a little inch and five eighths or so spacer. Yep. Inch and five eighths. All it needed. Next our bump steer. Another test ride coming soon. Peace. There it is. All the wires all tucked in, put away. Hopefully, I still leave room for the seat. We barely, barely got room with the controller. I think I'm. I mean, it's like good time. As long as it fits. No, but we're recording, Derek. You're on film officially. Do you want to be on film? They're 18, so you can give your own permission now.
Here's that YouTube, he's an adult. Are we playing this in yet? I don't know. Uh, I think we can plug it in. Made all the necessary upgrades. What's our voltage read? 82.8. 82.8 volts. And today we also have another demo bike. We've just prepared. I don't know what you want to call it. The limo version. But it's long. 3000 watt motor, brushless motor. 3000 watt controller. Disc brake. 20 inch fat tires. Long frame. Chopper bars. Yep, taking that one out too. Button. Yep. I guess we need to go out in front. How's it feel? Make some popping sound. I think that's just the chain guard. Is it turning better than it was yesterday? Oh yeah, definitely. Considerably different. See, it doesn't even tow in. Before it was towing in bad. You wanna roll around front? Yeah. Drink them all. She'll be coming this way any second. We just finished test riding. Short course bike. Did you break down already? Did we lose them? Stand by, we may have lost them. All right, this is Derek. Welcome, Derek, to the channel. We already met Matt. Matt, welcome to the channel. Hello. Now we have unofficial Cadillac Ozark Long Dog QMX. 3,000 watt. Derek's on the maiden voyage here. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh, oh. He already broke something. Here I broke it. <laughs> he looks worried.
Oh, can't even get a lap out of it. Chain keeps popping off. Back to the drawing board on that one. He's stuck. He doesn't have enough rear weight. There he goes. Oh, he threw the chain. Wah, wah, wah.